There's no jelly beans. What's going on? <laughs> uh, welcome to Inferno TV, our first episode of 2014. <laughs> oh, no, sorry, no. Oh, Hang is on. It? That was the last one, so the Kirker one. So like, we're, we're doing this uh, during the Fife uh, kind of game because we couldn't go to Fife. So, so. Skippy, Skippy is um, obviously paying attention to, I'm, to, I'm, to the filming tonight. I'm totally here. I'm not um, just watching my night. I'm, night I'm night standing night. in for Alid. It's Alid's birthday tonight, so uh, he can't make it. Happy birthday, birthday Alid. Happy birthday to Alid. Happy birthday to Alid. Yeah. Uh, so you got to play with me again. 16, uh, 17? I'm not sure. It's something like that. Yeah, it's yeah. in a youthful face. Yeah. More importantly, Devil's leading 2-1 in the away leg at Fife tonight. Including their, their thousandth, uh, thousandth, uh, thousandth goal, goal on, the, on road. the road in all competitions by Faulkner. And goals so far for Faulkner and Kirker. Hey. And a goal, goal for a goal for Shimon for Fife, we should mention yeah. as well. So off to a good start. Yeah, so all positive at the moment. And so now let's go back in time and <laughs> really... <laughs> to the massive piles of negativity. Yeah, Come let's on. lose the positivity and talk about two games against the Belfast Giants over the Reco weekend. Records. Games Record games, yeah, for the wrong reasons. <laughs> Record breakers. No, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it was record breaking loss. I can't. Can I say it a bit on the board? Um, you can say it. Record breaking tea baggings, effectively. Wor worst worst um, <laughs> loss since two thousand and one. Two thousand and one, yeah. Against, I, which was against Fife, I believe. Yeah, but that was a seventeen nil. B N. That was a different league crossover was, yeah. kind of a thing, yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, so yeah, uh, Sunday was the worst loss in a very long time. Yeah. So we should say at the start, um, Belfast Giants, champions elect currently and looking like champions in both uh, matches. What and they, the came, they came, they played, didn't they? They, they came, did. They, they came over. They came with they, a plan and they, they stuck with it. What a game. massively well drilled and well disciplined Giants performance as well. Yeah. As you expect, the likes of you know Adam Keith and. Daryl Lloyd to come in and cheap shut it up like they had before. They didn't need to. They didn't need to. No, they just came in and they beat us with the puck and the sticks. No, they, they played clean. There, there yeah. was no attempt to, not that I'm a suggestion the attempt to injure, but there, there was no attempt to injure. And, um, <laughs> For a change. Hi, Pat. <laughs> uh, I'd have to say, once again, off the back of that, Keith is a guy I would have in my team every day of the week. In fact, if I was drawing up a team made up of all the guys in the Elite League, he would probably be one of the first names on there every time. Every time. Because, you know, if you stick that guy in, you give him the captain's armband, that guy will always give you a captain's performance. Always. Always, always, always. It's always 100%, because there's no such thing as 110%. He's no always 100%. You, no matter what you say it. No. No, no, it just no, doesn't no, exist. No, it's not 200%. No, but it's, a very, it's a very good squad. It's very well, very well coached, very well drilled, very disciplined. Yeah, absolutely. And they punished every mistake. Yeah. Yeah, very they, they, they took their foot off in the third. They, they, they did. They, they could have kept going. They, they, yeah. they could have run, run the score up. But they didn't. But they'd done enough. Yeah. They'd done enough, in fairness to them. So, what went wrong? Obviously, we're short-benched. That, that goes without saying. Yeah, okay, massively we're, we're, short-benched. We're, we're low, low on D. Yeah. Um, we're low pretty much everywhere else as well. Were we tacti tactically inept or naive? Well, or both? Both. Clu or clueless? No, I think... I think there was some ta tactically naive, definitely on. I mean, we've been beaten by Hull how many times on that same tactic of defend like crazy, and then one guy breaks and scores. Yeah. I suppose the, the question, the question comes down, the question comes down to is, do you, do you want to lose playing a, a free flowing game by ten goals, and maybe? Oh, sorry. Oh, or, or do you want, oh. do you want to lose by one or, one or two goals and have a bit of a dull game that you've trapped out, trapped the life out of, but you stand a chance of you know possibly hitting on the break. I'd rather see a close game than 11-4. In front of your home fans, you cannot go out and before, and play that game. You can't. And early in the second period, when we appeared to have, we appeared to lose our direction and our Class. focus, intensity. The guy, the guys were obviously tired anyway coming into that game. You know, I, I'm not so, I'm not saying they weren't. The guys are definitely tired going into that game. Whose responsibility is it at that point when we seem to have lost all our direction? The guys on the ice just, you know, they don't, they just don't seem absolutely sure about what, what, you know, what they should do next. I looked across at Skippy. Skippy looked at me and I said, "When are we calling the timeout?" He did that. It just kept rolling. So when are we, when are we calling it? Did we on Sunday just go limp and sort of take it like being, you know, ragdolled by a big dog? But as soon as it starts to go wrong in the second, they scored two quick fire goal, you know. 
immediately you've got to call a timeout. For one thing, it, 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 all, it puts him off their stride slightly. It's a bit like in tennis when the, the guy asks for a toilet break yep. or the lady, you know. It's just, just, just a settle them, it? disrupts so, like, things you know, a little bit. Focus, calm yeah. down, don't worry about it, put that behind you, let's concentrate back on the game. Look, guys, get on with it. Yeah, we're going to have to go to plan B, which we clearly didn't have because no. there was no way we could go into that game in a... There was, what was plan A? Because I'm confused about that as well. Well, exactly. Well, we play was to play like we played any other game, despite right, okay. the fact we didn't have Fine. the players okay. to do it. Cool. Just I, 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 I assume, I don't know, let's assume there was a planning. Well, but we it, couldn't go into that game, which I suppose was basically what I was going to say. You, can't, you couldn't go into that game doing a toe-to-toe -to -toe performance like we normally do, because without a full squad, they, we were never going to match them. No, we were. We, Because out of respect for them, we should have realised we were never going to match them. Well, they are an excellent team. You have to look at our results earlier in the season. We had more of a full squad. We didn't match them particularly. And we beat them away, didn't we? Yeah, well, we, we've been but close to them. Two, two, yeah. two, one, we've beaten them. Yeah, away. we've been very close to them. Yeah. The um, so, but our, with the level of um, the level of injuries, we had the real bad luck on of Morissette getting injured just before the game at home as well, which looked nasty. We had Blyther warmed up, but in fairness, he looked in pain warm enough when I. Uh, yeah, I was, I was it watching didn't him look happy. Yeah. It, did, it didn't look right. No, he didn't look happy to be on the ice. He, no. he looked like he was he, a, he looked uncomfortable. Um, and then for some reason, we went in and thought we would just play our normal game. And in the first period, we sort of got away with it. I think maybe the, the original plan was to put, put the puck to Morissette and get him to score. And Morissette's injured, so we, have, we couldn't play. <laughs> so we, 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 yeah. can't, we can't do it. Maybe. maybe but that it's, was it's something, it's something that we've been, you know, we've we, 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 we phrased we, um, in recent games is there has been a plan B and you know things have gone wrong the tactics have changed and, and we you know we, 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 we recovered from it but Sunday there, just, there was nothing no. and it was like well, okay we're gonna lose anyway let's just go out, go out and, and well let's just get play, annihilated, play, play, annihilated play, in front of our home just, fans just, just play a game so was that was that attitude instilled by the loss on Saturday did we finish Saturday and go alright boys can we beat them no alright let's just go out there and but that, that's completely irrelevant. It's a, what you do is you sit down with them after that, after that absolute doing in Belfast and you say, look, tomorrow, this is what we're going to do tomorrow. We're, we're going to protect Cookie. We've got probably the fastest forward in the league in the team in Kirka. Now we're going to use, we're going, we're going to use Thomas. He, he's a fit guy. We're going to use Thomas a lot. We're, we're probably going to have to double shift him, possibly triple shift him. We'll push the puck to him as often as we can. Yeah. We'll use Ben with him, to, a guy who can match him, who, who's similar to him for so pace. To do what Hull do to us all of the time. Yeah. Strangle we, the life out of the game. Hit, we, hit them on the break. We've got Beer, Briar lucky. and Myers who can both play a bit of D. We're going to give the guys on, on D a bit, of a, a, a bit of a chance as well because yeah. they're, they're skating too many shifts. Like mm. Guys like Marsh, Smith and Blummer hardly well. ever off the ice. And, and, and we're going to give you some help tonight, guys. And, and Max and... and Myers are, are going to skate some shifts with you, give you a bit of a chance, and we're going to go. We're going to try and hit them on the break because it's probably the only chance we've got of getting a decent, of getting a chance of getting a result. Exactly. No, what we thought was we'll go toe to toe with them, and we'll just accept that we're going to get stuffed. Well, then the problem, problem is, well, I'm mean, assuming what happens tonight in, in in the game in five, we're going to be playing Belfast again, or or five will be playing. Or, one of or, us gets. Well, the, I say, I say, yeah. Depending on what what actually happens tonight. Well, by then we'll have recruited the players, won't we? I, I I'd hope so. Yeah. But otherwise, our D are going to be like sort of worn down to their knees. We'll have recruit, recruited players, won't we? Straw poll, who thinks we're going to get players in before the triple header? I, th I think we might sign a, um, an uh, uh, e e e e player again. I, another, I another, think another, another couple of young guys flyers. in. I think it's yeah. unacceptable. Flyers go. With a uh, number yeah. of Devils fans that are going up to Scotland to support the guys, for their for us not to have found a way to bring at least one or two more players into the squad. Yeah. I don't think that it's... The frustration of Devils fans over the last few years, we've got gone to the same situation over the last few... And before that as well, but in the last few years, we've got injuries during the season and we have not been able... We have not been able to recruit well, quickly. No, we... Uh, yeah. I, I suspect, and I really... And this is horrible. I honestly think we're sat there going, job boys, season's over, isn't it? We're not going to win anything. We're not going to win anything unless we win the cup. Let's should we should we spend more money or should we not bother? That's my honest thought. But that's just not acceptable. No, it's not. You know, it, it's just that's just unacceptable because there are people paying good money to watch hockey. Mm, exactly. And we do not. And uh, and uh, this is not meant to offend Caps fans at all. But they have had to sit through that season on season, and they they have a faithful group 
you know, group of fans there, decent sized group of fans, who go there knowing that there's going to be an awful lot of games. Like th- thankfully this season, they, they uh, pulled uh, up some uh, really good last wins. Last year or two, it hasn't happened. But no, pre- it hasn't pre- been as bad. Pre- previous years, you knew that the, fo- the Caps fans would find out. Yeah. Right about November, December, that all, all their team was on like a three month contract, and they're all going home. And here, here comes some yeah. guys from the SNL. Well, they, they've got a bit more stability, haven't they? They seem yeah. to have more stability. They've got a, a they see, Yeah, they've got a bit of quality. Yeah. They've got some good guys here. Hi, hi to Jordan Steele, if he's watching. The, uh, he's very friendly, does he? He is. He's a good guy, too. So, <laughs> you should come and play down here, really, Jordan. Are you playing that joke anymore? Sorry. No. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> I was leading into it. But we can't. <laughs> Bobby Shimon, the scorer, again, for five. So, it's two all currently, is it? Uh, yeah, two all tonight, I believe, yeah. Bob tends to go in hat-tricks when he, when he scores. So, there's a good chance he'll get a third. It's a thing of his. It is a thing of his, actually, yeah. yeah. He, he, he is he's a bit of a legend for it, really. So, let's, let's give him that. Well, good um, but going, going back to it, the, it's, it's not acceptable for the fan base to just be expected to, to go along and pay to watch games, knowing that if we don't do something about the current situation we will be hammered regularly because mm. there's a lot of quality in this league. Mm. Uh, there's, and not just us, yep. the guys on the team. Mm. I don't want to I don't want to see their faces like I did after the, the game the other night. No, it wasn't. They nice looked game. despondent, they they looked miserable. I know they were gutted. I don't want to see them in that situation. And I I'm not saying that they're not partly responsible for the performance. Well, yeah, you can't yeah, you, yeah, well, yeah. You can't, you can't. But, then, but then when when you've gone like sort of three or four goals down and you've got sort of beaten by a fairly hefty margin like before, you can see that the, the other team are possibly holding back a bit, but they've got plenty more in the tank. Mm. What, what, do you, you know, what do you do? Do you, do you, do you dig in there? Yeah. Did, did, did Belfast get out of second gear on Sunday night? Not a lot. No. Not did, did, did I think, but I think the senior guys on our team, that if they're, not, if they're not getting the direction that they need on the night, the, uh, and in that particular game, I thought our bench was, was unusually quiet. I think the senior guys have got to grab it by the scruff of the neck and say, look, boys, we are not going to get hammered in front of the home fans tonight. We're going to have to sit back yeah. and we're going to have to try and play a different way. So, I, so I, who, who instills that? Is it the coach? Is it the captain? Yeah, I'm not playing, I, I'm, I'm not playing the blame game here. Well, what I'm, but, I, yeah, I think, I think a guy like Mac, maybe a guy, a guy like Lordo, you know, maybe, maybe Matthew Myers, you know, guys, maybe Tyson Marsh, guys with experience out on the ice, they, they know what's going wrong. Like I, at one point, they, Belfast came in, they scored. I saw Tyson's face and he was absolutely gutted. Yeah. I don't want to see that. I want the guys to get the support they need. I want, I want to see them getting the direction they need. I want to see that we've got a game plan. We've won some really good games recently, mm. but now, now that we've got this injury crisis, <coughs> we, seem to have, we don't seem to have a plan for dealing with that. No, not at all. So, and I know we're I know we're saying we're bringing players in, but other teams around the league are bringing players in Have more quickly than we in. are. Yeah. yeah, very quickly. Oh. Guys like Thomas Kirker, no guys playing hockey all over the place. They've got loads of contacts. Okay. Yeah, you've got to wonder about that, don't you? Yeah. All, in fact, an awful lot of the guys on the team will have contacts. Mm-hmm. They'll know they'll know people who will know people who will know people. If we're struggling to find people, then the same as um, Panthers have just done with Grimaldi. And then they bring another. They, uh, who, who might that's, be, that's gone down well for them. Might, might be a slightly <laughs> loose cannon, but none that, uh, but entertaining apparently. But he's brought he's brought another guy, a guy in with him basically, who looks who's real quality. Disturbingly good, yeah. He was two plus two and a fight on his first game. Everyone knows his first game, doesn't it? He came in the Ooh, first yeah, game, and, but you know, still, I know the Panthers fans didn't who, who, seem happy. Who was like. the, um, the, the Sheffield guy? Is it uh, Sirianni? Yeah. Sirianni comes in. The, the disturbing thing about the new guy for Panthers was his nickname. Actually, was more disturbing. They, they all, they all got juice. Sweet. Juice. Yeah. There's another juice in the league now. We're juice could juice at uh, Coventry. They've all got three names in the pants anyway, haven't they? Yeah, well, it just worries me that he, he, might, he might also turn out to be a, little, a slight maniac. The, uh, see how I said slight then, juice? That's being nice. <laughs> just in case you meet him in a dark alley. <laughs> we get on all right normally. The, um, but, but going back to it, the, fa- the fans need to see that there is something happening. Yep. Agreed, yeah. The fans need to see on match night when things aren't going right that someone takes control of it. Yeah. You can't... You, you, it's not acceptable to sit there, watch the team get absolutely stuffed and not see... I think you have absolutely got to call a timeout as soon as it starts to go wrong. Well, yeah. Well, well, we, so two, two, quick, two, two quick goals. 
That's, yeah. yeah. It, it makes, it you're makes short, sense. It's it's not, just, you're short benched. You know you've got limited options. Third one straight away. Yeah. I think at that point you've got to you've got to be seen to be taking control. Mm. If you call a timeout and you change things around and it doesn't work for you, you try at least you've been proactive. Yeah. So th- so it's like this now. We have a bench coach. We have a coach with a bench coach. We have um, we have a coach general manager. Yep. Yeah, we have Dan Lacoste still on the bench as well. We've got yeah. Faulkner on the ice as captain. We seem to be lacking leadership now. Brent's off to the Winter Olympics of hatred and horror soon. Um, and then w- what do we got? No. No mm-hmm. one standing up and leading that we can see, and so no gen- and no general manager. And no general manager. So what happens? Well, have we, have we got? I mean, have we got a general manager at the moment? If if Brent's coaching full time, I, I don't see the two roles being one person's job. No, at all. I know Brent has, has made it clear that um, that he wants to bring somebody in to take over the coaching role, and I think I think that has absolutely got to happen. That a guy has got to be brought in. Or, or that the GM role has got to be swapped around yeah. if we're go- if Brent is going to coach. Yeah. You can't do I both. don't, I can't see how a club like ours can possibly survive with one guy trying to do both. It's too much to ask. I, I've got to say, um, like Brent's got an awful lot on his plate at the moment. So they may sound like we're having a bit of a dig over that performance. There, you know, there is also a case for is Brent getting the help that he needs. It's not fair, not fair on him. No, I don't think he should be trying to do two jobs. No. Uh, one of those is going to suffer. At least one of those is going to, or both are going to suffer. And, and no matter which job suffers, which, which of those jobs suffers, as fans, the, the product that we are viewing is going to suffer. Whichever job gets neglected, did, did, did we see we that? See a worse did, we, did you see that, the Fife game on um, the other the nights when you know, 600 people turn up? Yeah. There was you know, advertising. Should, could there have been a bit, bit, bit of a, 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 a discount incentive for people to turn up? Surely, season ticket, I know it, I season know ticket holders a, get in for twelve quid. I, I know that it was a, it was a horrible quid. night, and it was. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it, but it no, we, we should have been more proactive about it. And is that be, is that because the, the GM's coaching? Yeah, I, I assume you spent a lot of time prepping for a game like that. Yeah. You know, so yeah, I, I, or whatever you, whatever it is you're doing about that, I would guess that yeah, somebody should have said at some point, should we have a season ticket offer? Should we have a kids go free even or should we get some yeah. schools in just to fill the stands you know yeah, yeah let's do something let's do something let's be proactive Let, let's do something for long-suffering fans we're stuck with us over a long time through a lot of difficulties and let's face it we've had loads of them this year and let, let's what the fans of the difficulties <laughs> the uh, see the, the thing is <laughs> we know we know from recent weeks that when we're performing well that we can almost, we can just about fill the place yeah, and yeah. we saw it, and it was getting fuller and fuller. Yeah, yeah. And the then, problem is, this yeah. current period we're on can't. If we're going to accept that this is where it's going to be for the rest of the season, that won't happen. But then you get the vicious circle arguments, don't you? Oh, we can't get a new player in because attendances are down. Yes, we've got no attendances money. are down because we've got no fucking. We've got, my, 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 my language. We can't get. New, we can't. We have. Oh, right. I believe yeah. when Alid came in with the with, with the fiddlesticks. Uh, fiddlesticks. That's fiddly, right. fiddly, fiddly fiddlesticks. Yeah. We'll get a really amusing blooper over that one. Back, yeah. to, over the back to 1930s swearing. Over I think there. I think the basics of it is th- those performances on the weekend weren't acceptable. The um, the guys need more support. They need, and I'm not talking about from the fans. We we do all need to be behind them, but that goes without saying. They need more support from uh, from behind from from the top basically. So from the ownership. I mean, the the problem for me is that the, the amount of minutes our D is currently logging. One, they're going to be knackered all the time. And yeah. Two, more there's more chance of injury more when injuries. you're knackered. Yeah. This is the so, problem, isn't it? With yeah. a short bench, you're going to get more injuries. You know. Brent, needs, um, Brent needs either somebody to take over the GM role or somebody to take over the coaching role. We've obviously got the Winter Olympics coming up shortly. The um, Brent, I'm really opposed, sorry. Uh, uh, currently, I think Brent's, still Brent's stance moral, is still the... Stance, is it? I yeah, believe moral, Brent's stance is still that he'll be at the Winter Olympics. Um, given our current situation, I don't know whether that will change. I hope the, it does, because he shouldn't go. Anyway, the, um, that's my, my and, <laughs> and I assume that will mean additional responsibility for some of the guys in the team, like guys like Costa who are currently available. I assume we'll have to take over some of that role. Guys yep. like Faulkner yeah, will obviously yeah. have to take on more of that responsibility. Haven't, has it been said that it's going to be Lacosta and Jamie Elson over the over the break? Is that right? I don't know. Has that, that been that, announced? That, that would, that well, would be, that Jamie's been on the bench lately, and, uh, yeah. and Lacosta's been there as well. So maybe that's a preparation. I, I don't know. I, maybe I dreamt that. I don't know. I think I still think. Oh, I said the 
that for us to move <laughs> that for us to move the situation forward that the coach has got to be a guy who has no ties to anybody associated with the devils is Great. my personal I, I, opinion. I, I certainly, certainly help a lot. Yeah. 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 Because there's just too much gone on behind the scenes, too much gone ho- gone on in the public eye, too much information being passed around that I think affects everyone who's involved. So you're thinking new coach, fresh start. Brent, yeah, Brent goes back to being GM. Yeah. Um, as, he, as he's mentioned before, um, that's where he re- really wanted to be. We bring in um, a fresh guy who, with fresh eyes, looks at the situation, assesses the budget from wherever it gets set um, going forwards, and we cut our cloth according to that, but we perform. Yeah, agreed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, um, we, you know, we don't, we don't go into games that we're, we're obviously going to struggle with and attempt to go toe-to-toe when the five players down. No, not at all. You can't do that. It's just not, it's not realistic. No. I, who, I don't, I, from, from personal experience um, in businesses that, 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 that I've managed, if a member of staff in the, my previous job where we, we had a lot of front-facing staff with customers, if one of them rang in in the morning and said, I won't be in the John, I won't be in today, John, I wouldn't walk out there to the other two and say, right, you're going to have to handle 100 customers between the two of you today because I know that wouldn't work. True. Yeah, it I, doesn't work, yeah. And, the, and, what I, yeah. and previously what I would have done is that one of the, one of the staff who were operated in the back room would have, spent been, would have spent time out the front training with the others so that they could cover that position if, the, if such an emergency arose. You can't have situations where you suddenly lose loads of staff and you've got no way of dealing with it. No. It just, in business, it doesn't work, and it doesn't work in, in sport either. You've True. got to have some sort of... Although, at the minute, we have had a, a fairly unprecedented run of injuries and, it, and bits and pieces, haven't we? I mean, yeah. well, a lot, well, lot, lot, lot other than last season and the season before well, that. A lot of teams have. Season before I mean, that. The, the, yeah. team that yeah. the team that haven't had injuries is Belfast, and it shows. True. Yeah. We've got a team that have been playing together since the start of the season pretty much. Uh, well, Panthers have, have had plenty, but they, they seem but to they have an unlimited pot. Yeah, but, yeah, they, but then they, they're not doing so great, and they, no. they, they've had a team that's had to play every year. There's no continuity. It's not the same thing. Is it? <laughs> there's, yeah, no, yeah, there's, there's no continuity, that's though, it, is there? Because they haven't changed staff yeah, all the time. A team, so. a team has a gel every week. Yeah. You've got the, the clan you. whose wheels have fallen off to some extent at the moment through injury um, and other things. So there are teams struggling. Is that, um, the problem is, is we are not in a position to take advantage of other teams' struggles, which we should be. Is the rumour of the new clan signing actually a real thing? Is that going to... Well, I don't think it's a new, new signing, is it? Or is that not in the public? I don't think it's out yet, but... Right. I, I, and it, it is just is it a rumour, and hopefully, no, it won't be remember confirmed. Remember us saying this and then laughing like... Remember the, remember remember the guy, was it... This episode, was, and all of us going... <laughs> was it, was it Voth who hated him the most? Uh, I think we all hated him the most, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. anyway, that guy. <laughs> Lovely. Mm. Yeah, but then, you know, Finity's have... He's had, it, had him on the team before, hasn't he? He's got a very sharp oh, tongue. Of course, yeah. Mm. Finity's yeah. had him on a team before. Yeah. I've forgotten about that. So, yeah. we shall see. Mm. Anyway, so him, him we've, we've, made, we've, made, we've made enough fr- um, friends. Should we move on? Yeah. Well, I probably haven't made any friends at all, but the fact <laughs> is the, um, that it needed to be said. Absolutely. Because we've been very fair with the way things have been in the past. But there has to come a point where you say, well, I'm sorry, but th- though we've been happy with, with bits and pieces there, we're just not happy with this. What's the score, Skip? Uh, I'm just checking now. Cause I don't know. Yeah, in a second? No, I thought, I thought it was going to be exciting. Uh, no, it's still 5-9 five, well, five, on aggregate. So, yeah. Still got a four-goal lead. About two minutes to go in a second. So, so big well done to the Devils so yeah, far during yeah. that game because we know that that is they are killing themselves out there to get that. So what we're going to do is we're going to film a bit now where we talk about what happens if we win. Now if we don't win, just skip the next two minutes on the, on the video. Just scroll it forward; it'll catch up when it buffers. So we do a bit afterwards with. And um, then after that, we we'll do a bit about us losing. Yeah. So basically, it's almost like a choose your own adventure kind of branching thing. Show so, you each now. Right here we go. We <laughs> win! Yay! Yay! Crap, we're going to play Belfast again. Oh. Twice. Good. Because that gives us a chance to have a proper go at them. Exactly. And to show them that, what, how devils actually play. It's really good that we can get a solid so road win like that. Let, let's assume that we end up in a similar position to where we are now. We're going to play loads of games in between. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The January schedule is a- absolutely yeah, knackering we've got, we've got for the guys. Game in two days, we've we got, got Thursday, Thursday with Nottingham. Then we've yeah. got Commentary Sunday. Weekend after the triple header, and yep. then the day after that is the Belfast game. Because yes. we've won. Who, yeah. who thought this schedule was a good idea? Well, that happens every year. Doesn't in, it? in all fairness, t- tonight's, tonight's game is a cup game. Yeah, so that, 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 was, that was an additional one. And Belfast, I mean, if they're sensible and thought, well, Cardiff are going to win, yeah. let, let's just stick it after they just had a game, a run of three games. True. I mean, why wouldn't you? Yeah. 
So, but uh, well done to the guys so, for a big road win. Um, it's great. So let, yeah. yeah, let's assume that let's assume that they do do it, and then and we bring some bodies in to help them, um, and then we go into that Belfast game with a plan A and a plan B, yep. and and we play properly. And hopefully, you know, the Belfast are going to you know sort of prepared for the game by dancing around the um, dressing room, singing "We're going to win," maybe a bit of high fiving. Because I think the thing is, you know, and it, a couple of them trip over and get injured in the warm up. And, and you know, yeah. all right. So this is the point where you're going to skip to if we've lost. Yeah. So you've missed the last two minutes. Nothing happened. All right. It's a real shame we lost tonight. I mean, I the guys gave we, it all. Can't believe we blew, blew such a lead. I mean, what was it? A big enough lead? That's the question. That I mean, short benched. I mean, it was going to happen. It was. And it, was, it would only have been Belfast anyway again, wouldn't it? So. Well, yeah. at, one, at what point so was, save, was something we done about the situation then? Yeah, fingers because crossed. I mean, we're going to get replaced because soon. Blues in that. The um, that that's just. Well, I mean, we're, we're 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 currently in eighth position, aren't we? Which means if we get through to the playoffs, we're going to get Belfast, Belfast. again. <laughs> yeah. So you know, they're, they're, they're stopping us every 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 every, every angle here, aren't they? Well, some at some point though, you've got to be prepared to beat the best team in the league to win anything. Well. And we have to beat the best, you know, yeah. that, that's just the way it Absolutely. works in sport. It does, yeah, but we have to, well, so effectively, yeah, but don't forget this is... So, yeah. you, look at, you look at all the game videos and you look to see, they, ha they haven't got many weaknesses, but they have got a few. The, um, you look at those and you develop your plan around it and you know you've got guys with fantastic pace, you know you've got some strong guys, you know guys who are great on the four check, you've got yeah. guys who are really good at winning face-offs and you work your plan around it. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what Fife will need to do when they play them in the Challenge Cup semi-final. Because this is the we've lost version. Yeah. But, but that yeah. hasn't happened. That hasn't but happened yet. Let's assume, yeah. let's assume that we've won and that's, that's how we're preparing for the game. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, fingers crossed we've won. Because on those, on those three Scottish away games, we've got to play smart. We do, yeah. Um, There's no doubt about it. We cannot, we cannot afford to be absolutely killed coming back for the, belt, no. the Giants game. No. We also so can't go to Scotland and lose six points on the road. No, we've got to play smart in the yeah. three games to stand a chance. Three teams that, that are all difficult to beat. Yeah. E caps and caps yeah. are difficult to beat I on their night. I've seen more ca caps well, games away than have, lost. I have never seen us win at Murrayfield. I have we'll once. I went all the way up there we, <laughs> for a double header. Double we, we lost both games. That was <gasps> that was that was a, a great weekend. And you of, can't drink in the rink. It was like being. In oh, I was there when I was the only Devils fan there, and the only other gentleman wearing a Devils jersey was a Caps fan. Who felt sorry for me <laughs> and wore, it, and oh, wore a devil's jersey? We, 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 we turned up there. This, this was um, the week after Skippy had been concussed by Mike Garrow's shots. I think he's still got, still got the um, scar there. Yeah. And so he was, he was a little bit twitchy. And if, when you go to. No flexi. When, 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 you go, when you go, <laughs> no. to, you go to Edinburgh, you're sitting there. Were you sitting, in the gold seats? Yeah, we were, uh, sitting, we were sitting above the bench. No, we were sitting, yeah. we were sitting above the bench. That, that's so the gold section now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so you know that. So literally, it was like, all right, so my head is just. Yeah, so we were sitting there watching the game, and Skippy was doing this. More, yeah. It is a fantastic spot there, though, because you, you can interact with the guys on the bench. Yeah, yeah Gareth yeah. Gareth actually looked up and said, was, "I went, yeah, no, sorry." <laughs> it, was, it was quite funny. Because we, we in the past, uh, particularly being there, we used to get great interaction going between the bench I and bet, the front yeah. row, yeah. and uh, they'd be shouting things up. And so they have gold seats in Edinburgh, gold, silver, and bronze now. Yeah, but they're, they're, they're all they're all, they're all, they're they're all still the wooden chairs <laughs> covered, covered in vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> No, and that, that you know that that's nothing to do with the Caps fans themselves. That's no, just that's just the way they have an old it's, building. It's, it's a rink with character. It's I'm a sure, classic rink. I'm sure Mr. Dickens was very proud. It's got, got they do do art deco <laughs> feel to it. Yeah. They do do fantastic stovies there they though. They don't do that. No, 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 they, they don't. I watched an Edinburgh fan tipping one into a bin, going, "That's not a stovie." <laughs> it's not a stovie, no. But I, you know, I still <laughs> it's like a plastic them. cup full of sick. <laughs> Corn beef onion and potato. Yeah, you've got to make a big hole in it and put your brown sauce in there. Perfect. That's just so. Disgusting. So let so we we have let's assume we have we have won the game and we are at the minute we kind of still are so that's good. News. Well, four goals up. Got to is it, is it in the second now? Uh, no, final minute of the second. Okay. It's looking good. It's looking pretty good. good. So what yeah. what what sort of time are we into the program? Does anybody know? Oh, not a clue. Well, no, we not, not, not waffle for a bit. It's about a period. Really. It's a period. We probably, I think we've got about twenty five minutes, thirty minutes. Okay. We, um, we're, missing we're, we're, getting, we're getting nothing from our um, our, our producer here. Oh, oh, we, we are, are, we are getting to get one, one, one minute, I think he said. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Got one minute left, is that what it is? The, um, so we got Notts Thursday, is it? Nottingham on Thursday. What time oh. is left? Right. Is that where we are? Nottingham on Thursday, yeah, Nottingham we are. We talked yeah. about, well, we've gone through the tea bagging at the weekend. We've talked about the Fife game. Was I've written coaching shambles, and now we're on to Nottingham tomorrow, but even though it's Thursday. But you know, yeah. yeah. The, um, and they will be without a few players, won't they? Yes. They will. Grimaldi's banned. For four games, four is games. it? For uh, 
punching people after the... And then um, running away. Yeah. Well, I held... Well, I, in, in fairness to the guy, because I keep on hearing this thing about him running away... Well, he did run to the bench, didn't he? Like, yeah, he went off the ice. Wasn't that what you're supposed yeah, to do? Didn't he punch some guys first and then leave? Well, I think it was before about five of them attacked him. That could be, yeah. He's probably seen the previous videos where Coventry sent about eight men to jump one guy. That's true. That's but then, then it was the one guy got all the bands. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Selby only got two games, though, didn't he? And he... But he didn't get any ice time in the game that he got two games for. Yeah, and then he came was off <laughs> the ice and came back on to fight. Yeah, yeah and he still only got two games. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. But isn't it match? I like that. It's a three, three game ban, isn't it? The one that I really like. I don't understand. He was, and, he was, and it's not that he left the ice. He left the ice after an official took him off the ice. It's a three game, three game ban. Just there the is th- a better ridiculous ban than that one, though. Yeah. Which is one of the Heimrich boys threw a helmet at somebody. He missed, and he, and, he got, and he got a game because he missed. So if you're a bad shot, if you're a bad shot, you get less of a penalty. You get less of a penalty. Oh, so you get, you get, you get, you, you, yeah, it's, he's so still it, intended. So it was to an throw attempt, attempted helmet throw rather yeah. than helmet throw. Exactly. So it's a lesser penalty. Use of equipment like that, same as it's three games. Well, it, 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 yeah, you, attempted <laughs> use of equipment to injure somebody is should be the same as any yeah. attempted attempted. Exactly. You know, use of, uh, of equipment as a weapon, mm. surely. Oh, oh, but sir, he was incompetent. Oh, that's all right. Then. Well, just let him off. We, 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 we can say it because we're not covered by the Elite League um, sort of ga- gagging orders and bans on... Um, is, is there a social media policy this year? There, there is, there is, apparently there is social media policy, but it's, it's, it's wavered whenever anyone... Oh, whatever. Well, they fancy it, so right. We, okay. we it's not actually been enforced, is it? No, not well. No. Well, I, but I, I really hope when Moy Hansen came in, he's a level-headed guy. He's, 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 he's co- coached... Well, he is in less, less, less Edinburgh were playing. Mm. Um, but you know he, 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 he's he's refed at the, high, the highest level in Britain for a long time. I thought he he comes somebody that's going to be sensible and have consistent bands, and it seems to be the same rule of six to start system as before. Pretty much, I, I believe there's a wheel of justice, isn't there? That you spin, spin, spin the wheel of justice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See how bad the player's been. Decapitation. So oh, I really did. I really did hope that there'd be more, more of a structure this year, more of a, yeah. a, a, a sensible, um, coherent tariff. I just always but get the impression there's something going on. Yeah, I just uh, doesn't feel open and honest to me. It feels like certain teams can exert pressure onto the process in a kind of a if you ban my player, I'm going to sue the living bejesus out of you kind of a way. It just, it just doesn't. Just putting it out there. It yeah. doesn't, just doesn't feel. Yes, yeah, right. so I chose my word very carefully. All right. <laughs> yeah. So we got not who are going to be two men down, Allegedly. which <laughs> could be could be a bit unfair, the um, to some extent. Let's have more than us because they're, they're going to arrive on two coaches, aren't they? I heard. For all the players. Yeah, yeah, possibly. We've we, we, we 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 had to give them their own stand for the players. We beat them last time, didn't we? <laughs> In fifty-six. I, I got some very good play, fan, fan, friends at Panthers, so it's not meant to be offensive. The um, on the team or in, in the crowd. On or both. both. Yeah, both. But, but it's going to be. That that's that's going to be a big ask for us, but we do it is. we do have a game plan for them. Yeah. We do know yeah. how to play them. We exactly. beat them. Yeah. yeah, we do know, yeah. but we do know how to play them. But then again, I mean, last time they last actually last time they came in and we beat them in the big in the big blue ten. Corey said in the press day beforehand, we're really short staffed because he only had like nineteen imports. Yeah, what we're going to have to do is play a really boring trap hockey game, clever road hockey to try and get a win. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's, it's not and it's not it's not going to be fun to watch, but no. it's what's going to be done. Kind of like what we should have done on the weekend. On the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the only thing I would say, apart from fantastic news to hear that, that Blight is back playing tonight, and I, mm-hmm. That's good news. I hope that he doesn't pick anything up. Absolutely gutted for for Morissette, who I think who I think has been outstanding um, yeah, I in recent times. Seen anything in the press about how bad he was? What, was it a puck? Pretty, pretty, I think, was it 10 stitches or yeah. something? Yeah. Some guys said it was a puck, some other guys saying it collided It was a collision with, with Falkner, I think. Right, okay. And I think yeah. he banged his head on the ice as well. So seven, seven stitches, three internal stitches. Like. Uh, and the, the thing about, concussion. the thing about that is, is Morissette does a lot of the, a lot of stuff very quietly and very efficiently. Great puck retention. And an absolute machine when it comes to penalties. Yeah, great run there. penalties. It's yeah. just like, yeah, well, we haven't seen the Devils for We've years. got a guy who, and I, what I've noticed with Morissette is it's not a case of Morissette has got all the fancy tricks that he uses for penalties. Morissette just knows how to pick a spot. He does, mm. yeah. And he can hit it, always. Yeah, it's very, it's very impressive. He's got so. great release. A bit of Tyson Marsh, great release as well, and that's, what, that's why he scored yeah. his penalty the other yeah. night. <coughs> and, uh, and another thing we forgot to mention uh, during the Giants game was what a fantastic slapper from Plumpton. <laughs> that was a great goal. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic. 
<laughs> in fairness, he's been attributed for about three times the amount of goals that he's scored on Match Night Live recently. It's like, Plumpton goal! Oh, wait, no, it was somebody else, sorry. <laughs> so, well, yeah, well, this quite, one was well earned. <laughs> I, I, know, I, know, I know we lost, we lost quite happily, but it's quite nice to score against Murphy. Because you, you never, never know when, you know, I mean... It's difficult to score against the, 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 the guy the, the with that quality. There's a chance he's going he's to shut you out every night, isn't yeah. there, really? He's, he's mm-hmm. real, real quality with his, his vegan edge. Yeah. He's vegan powers. He's mind powers. Yeah, so um, it's, it's, it was no, nice, nice, nice to see a couple, a couple of goals go in. Exactly. But that's this Plumpton picked. Well, I assume that was the p- spot he's picked, picked, but the, the shot was absolutely he's phenomenal. He's actually tried jumping the corner. It was complete, complete luck. He was, he was meant to. That had to be doing 120, that, that shot. It was <laughs> absolutely flying. It was. So off the back of that, not Nottingham game, which we know if we're in the same position with, um, with guys, is going to be tough. We might have had a game plan for them, Hopefully. but it involved people like Morissette. Exactly. I mean, we have strength. We've got we've got some guys in from the NIHL side tonight playing for Devils, aren't they? Yeah. Um, well, Big has been playing for a couple of games now. But Priest is playing tonight. Yeah, Priest. Yeah. Where, where's Ferrara though? I don't know. He seems to, his name seems I, to have just. I just thought tonight would be would be a game when he, we were playing. Mm. I don't know what Chris. I don't know. Yeah, I do. The a um, <laughs> lot of talk in the background about Jamie Hayes um, oh, among Devil fans yeah. and. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jamie apparently says it, it is fit at the moment and would would like to ice if, he's, he's if he was needed. He's played at this level. Do you know we yeah. hold down a shift. I think he says. I think he said that he's available and we need bodies. We do. So yeah. also got his jersey, so like legitimize me wearing it again. Uh, so I see that, what you yeah. did there. Well done. And Jamie's yeah. quite a tough kid as well. <laughs> you know, he can ride a challenge. So yeah. Well, he's, he's you know he's, he's played at this level yeah. before. He's and we we need guys on the ice. So it seems um, it seems like shooting yourself in the foot if you don't you know. If you, even if you're only playing for one game, until you bring guys in, it just mm. seems. Yeah, why not? Give the guy a break. Um, yeah. Coventry Sunday. You know, you don't know what you can get with Coventry at the moment, do you? No mixed bag. No, um, but they. Well, I was going to say they have got Henrik's playing, but they probably. Oh, the, of course, no, Henrik's both back by that kind yeah. of point. Yeah, I mean, it, it so. feels like Matty's got no control over that bench whatsoever. It feels um, to me like they're a bit like us playing this season, but they haven't had the. Hit the hideous number of injuries altogether, no. No. Um, but they haven't really ha- found a pattern. They haven't really got their lines working because they've lost players yeah. like the Henricks. Um, they um, they've had they've had plenty of bad luck, but it just doesn't look like a team that's under but control at the moment. I, I still get I still got this image of Matty standing in the um, dressing room with Tom on speakerphone shouting at the um, team. <gasps> Tom is busy now, isn't he? He's got a coach job again. I'm not saying what was happening, but you know it didn't seem that. I don't know if anybody saw that. Did anybody see the tweet tonight that had been translated? No. The um, was it Gunner the previous coach? I think it was. Yeah, I don't know too much about Trojan. Let me see. It was Gunner. Yeah, Gunner Sven. I want to say Svensson. It's probably not, but most of them are Svensson. Let me see if I can find it. Racist. I can't believe you generalise like that. Don't make me discuss your outfit last night, right? (laughs) (laughs) Oh yeah, right. Okay. The um, it was it's translated from Swedish, and the um, I think be humorous. And what was his name, John? What's that? What's his full name? Gunnar? I think it is Gunnar Svensson, isn't it? Um, and it, and it, it, it translates into English like this. The differences, the difference of our coaches can be seen directly. Paul, we're going to win. That's why we're here. Gunnar, check it on paper. We have no chance. <laughs> I like it. So, uh, understandably, yeah. now uh, Paul's taken over there. So, yeah. good luck, Tomo. We yeah. hope that goes really well for you. To be fair, I kind, I kind of thought we might see Tomo back, given the way that it was going at Coventry. Yeah. The um, yeah. good luck to Matty. I really hope that he can get control there. <coughs> they're they're another team that really should be near I, the top. I quite miss Tomo because I had an amazing montage of pictures of him shouting over the years in the All same the, position. Exactly the same the picture. Sa- it was amazing. It was like benches. a time lapse of watching this, watching Tomo age. Doing this, fantastic. Same pose, screaming at someone. It was awesome. <laughs> and he, <laughs> times. he did have tantrums to rival Doug Christiansen as well. He did. Well, I think we've been told to wrap up. We're getting the finger again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, match night live. We'll cover the Nottingham game on Thursday yep. live from the ring. Have we got a score update before we go? Uh, it's period break still. So yeah, we're, we're winning. So a, a big good luck to the guys in the third period. Yep. Um, and thank you for for obviously putting in a phenomenal effort tonight. By the sound of it. Yeah. The yep. um, well done so far. Because because you're in the game. Yeah. And that's all we could ask. All good. So hopefully um, we're back back on schedule now. We should be have another. Um, yeah, our Christmas break went a little bit longer than we thought it would. Unintentional so, due uh, to various reasons. But we haven't finished all the chocolates yet, which is really annoying. Um, 
But hopefully Alan will be back next week in his socks, so yeah, don't put with me again. Oh yeah, sorry Dave, no socks this week. Like, yeah. I really do apologise. But Skippy's got some red, lovely red booties on. Look at those. He did, did was showing them earlier. Yeah. Did. Oh yeah. It's, it's like, like a substitute sock. It is, it's like a substitute sock. It's a big thank you to Red Army Travel and Brett at the Drum Depot, our sponsors. And a big mention for Max Beerbrier, because he's just... Because it's Max. Because he's part of us. Yeah. Yeah. Ma- Max is just part of us. That sounds really dodgy. Whoa, no. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> part of us. I mean, I mean, as, as well, what, are the, what are the devils? Yeah, but I mean, as pa- uh, I mean, like guys, not in a not in a manner. <coughs> kind of like guys like Bob, <laughs> <coughs> who just become part of the you whole. Say, you say, you say, Max, Max is Mr. Cardiff Devils. Is what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. Okay. They just become we, part we, 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 of the fan base. Let's we, leave we, it on we, that. We can, we can go in. Shocking that. revelation from John. Yeah. Like they're they're a player and they're part. They just become part of the whole thing. I'm not if sure you know what I mean. There we, we go. We don't know where we're going with this. Prophetic words, and I'm, I'm getting some sort of horrific oh, we got, we got a symbol. I think we've got so to go. Thanks very much, everyone. Good night, guys.